Hey everybody, welcome to my video. I wanted to share with everybody because this year and last year, I got like a huge overwhelming response from like people just asking about my Christmas decor and where I got my ornaments from, how was it inspired, um, just like super random questions. And it was like so touching because like I just share random photos. So I didn't think that people were actually going to be interested in my little tree. The reason why I call it little is because literally my tree is like seven, seven and a half feet tall and I'm six two. Even when I was younger, my tree was like, my mom would have like a six foot tree because she's like super short. And I would be like, oh my God, like I'm taller than tree mom. Like we need a bigger tree. Like this is insane. So as you get older, you kind of tend to get the things that you want. And we got an awesome, huge, big tree. Um, just to let you know, the back of my tree is not on because um, I am in a smaller space now. So the back of the tree doesn't fit. So we only have like five rows in the back that aren't on. So she's like super huge. And the whole two bottom rows aren't on. So we could fit the village and the carousel and stuff underneath. I wanted to share with everybody as far as like where my ornaments came from, um, some of our holiday traditions, some of our do-it-yourself ornaments, and things like that. So, with that being said, follow me. Remember, it's going to be a little shaky. And let's talk a little bit more in depth about my tree. So, my ornaments are uber cute. They're super glitter. Um, my ornaments came from Walmart. These guys and the non-glittered ones came from Walmart. They were in like a huge pack and we picked up like three of them. And some of our ornaments are actually on the tip of the tree, like this one. It's like on the tip tip. Some of them are actually strung by string, just depending. Um, so that's kind of a thing we do. Um, these two little beauties, the top left is my niece Maya when she was born. And the bottom right is my other niece who's in Guam, Lily. And um, those are like an ornament. Um, like we buy random ornaments once a year. We buy like one ornament and add it to the tree. So because I have a few nieces, we of course bought them in a pack. And we added their pictures to them. So every year we always add something super cute. So like we have this reindeer thing, horn, thingamajigger. We got that from Michaels and we added that I think like two years ago. It was like an awesome thing. We always try to keep everything Christmas inspired, theme-ish kind of thing. Uh, these little drop-ins that are full of glitter galore. Um, they're just like little sticks you could just add in. And we have like the mistletoe tinsel thingy one up there and those are just like single ones that we got from michael's on sale they were like super super cheap so we picked them up um and we love that then i have my faves this is my faves this huge gold glitter snowflake i have like three of these throughout my tree and i love these i love huge pieces because they're such a statement piece um there's like a candy cane, you know, like we've added those, a piece, um, of course we have the plain ones, a do it yourself. Okay, so this ball right here, one year my niece came over to visit me for Christmas and I wanted to do something. So of course, you know, we made hot cocoa with marshmallows and all the good stuff. And I bought these balls at Walmart as well. And I got some Elmer glue because I'm like uber crafty when it comes to things. And I was like, I have some glitter. Let's make some ornaments. So she put her name and this was Destiny. And this was, God, 
years ago, like 2006, seven. So my little baby made that and I love it. She sometimes be like acting a fool with me cause she don't like to reminisce, but I love my ornament she made me. We also did this one down here where we added the glue around the spirals and those were purchased at Walmart too and we glittered them as well. Um, another thing we bought from Michaels are these poinsettias. That's a velvet poinsettia. Um, I have a brown one and I have a regular red one. And she's super cute. So I always add those because those are my favorite because, of course, it's Christmas themed. Um, this is a very unique one right here. Um, my mom's friend, I always did her daughter's hair. And she was, like, super young. And she's always like, I want corn rolls. And she was the sweetest little girl. And one year for Christmas, she bought me an ornament to add to my tree because she knows we always buy one ornament. So... She bought me this. It reminds me of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I'll take a picture so you can see her better. Um, but she has a boa and she has a blonde ponytail. Kind of reminds me of like, I dream a genie type thing. Super uber cute. So I keep her on my tree because she's super unique and I love her. She means the world to me. And hopefully if Darren sees this, I got this years ago from her. So Darren, I still have it and I love you dearly. We have more glitter ornaments, like here's another one with the stars, and I have more of those other glitter inserts with the poinsettia, um, and of course there goes another big star, and these were like ones we added through the years, you see that like it jingles. My next thing to do is I want those ornament turners. You put them on the tip of your branch and you hang your ornament from it and you hang your most like cutest or most standing out ornament and what it does is it rotates it in a circle all the time. So I have some exclusive ornaments that I would love to add to my tree and have that also. So there's more poinsettias and all that good stuff. And see, there's like a snowman. We bought him last year. I don't know what we bought this year for the tree. Like, there's so much on my tree. Like, it's kind of hard to, like, really know. Um, I'm not really, like, super, like, into, like, religion. So, I don't put an angel on my tree just because, like, you know, I... I don't want to have that conversation in my household. You know, I want people to be able to just come and enjoy and love. So what I do, don't mind my bow, she's messed up. My bow's messed up because my heater was on and it messed her up so I gotta fix her. But I put a huge red bow at the top of my tree and I spring some extra ribbon down. The ribbons aren't attached to my bow, they're just like stuck in my tree. Like I just twist the tip now of them down below. Them is my crazy mother's carousel that she purchased and her village collection. So, here you go. And she has like this huge nutcracker and this Santa Claus and then there's like Mrs. Claus. So, we got those. And believe it or not, she was at Goodwill. I don't know what she was there looking for because she goes on these thrifty shops and I go with her sometimes. And we found it there and it was like super cheap, like 10 bucks. We opened it up. It was like perfect condition. It does play music, but we don't have it playing music because like we always have Pandora on with the holiday music or someone's watching TV. So we just choose to leave the music off. But yeah, we got it for like 10 bucks. It was an awesome find. Makes a great addition to our tree. We try to keep everything very traditional, very homey, you know, very classic. And that's one of the things that just added to it. So I guess you could say that's our new thing we added because we didn't buy an ornament or did we or I can't remember so much going on so that's my tree 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have your tree you would love to share with me, I would love for you guys to like hashtag Hair by Raymond Inspired Tree or Hair by Raymond Christmas Tree. Let's do Hair by Raymond Christmas Tree. And I would love to repost them and share with everybody because I super, super love Christmas. So it's like one of my fave things. Um, if I was home more often <laughs> and I felt secure, um, I'd probably buy like nutcrackers as tall as me and put them outside in front of my front door because I just think it's cute. But, you know, we'll wait till we get a bigger space and we'll definitely add like you know the teddy bear and the abc blocks that's what we're missing you know i want to keep it very traditional very like 34th street christmas like in new york um but yeah this is my tree thank you for watching my video um thank you for all the emails and the comments and people you know who come over and when they get their hair done they usually snap pictures in front of my tree and it's like a huge compliment I do it for the love of the spirit of Hall of Christmas, and I'm glad it brings joy to others as well. Um, but one thing is, is that inspired me on my tree was uh, Macy's. When I was younger, we used to always walk through the mall, and we used to have Macy's Holiday Lane. And I always was like, oh my god, I love their trees. Like, when I get older, I want one of their trees. Well... Our trees were always small because my mom's short, so um, <laughs> the tree would be like six feet tall or like five, ten or whatever, and I was always taller than it, so I'm like, mom, like we need a bigger tree. <laughs> She's like, no, it's fine. So upgrading because we're going to be moving soon, so we'll probably advance the tree to like a nine or a ten foot tree, and it's going to be just as big. I have like some amazing things I wanted to share too real quick is those big balls there's like a green one on the top left and a big red one in the middle and then there's a gold one those were purchased from orchard He's in there and I was like, oh my god, gotta get these, like, I cannot pass them up. So I grabbed those. Um, feel free to comment, share below, etc. And um, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. And this is coming from Hair by Raymond. And everybody have a great New Year's, be safe, and all that good stuff. Listen to what I say. Pray for peace of people everywhere. Listen to what I say. The child, the child, sleeping in the night, he will bring us goodness and light. He will bring